And we are learning more tonight about two of the victims. Olivia Eugenio spoke with them today. She's live outside on Jefferson Avenue. Olivia, I imagine they are struggling tonight. Yeah, 100%. The family of Catherine Massey or Aunt Cat say that they knew after waiting hours to hear about the woman they call the matriarch of their family, they knew she was gone. They just couldn't believe it was true. This is just Aunt Cat. It's hard to imagine. <laughs> oh my gosh. The pain. Oh, there is art everywhere. Everywhere. When the light. Wow. Is everywhere you look even in the art around you. For the family of 72 year old Catherine Massey or Aunt Cat, her light was everywhere she touched. It used to be the Ukrainian hall right here. She would go over there and party with them sometime. And we'd be like, Aunt Cat, and she'd be like, yeah, I went over there and had a party with them. That's just who she was. She'd get along, matter. no, it didn't matter. And while the world was robbed of her spirit, her family sees it differently. Now, her spirit can be shared. When he took her life, he just set her free even more. Because in the depths of darkness, we will need light to guide the way. I hope that as a nation, as a community, just people at home, they teach their kids to love instead of hate because that's not what she represented. And that's not what I teach my kids. And that's not how our family do things. She, we love everybody, you know? And for her to go like this, it was really sad. I also had the chance to speak with the family of Celestine Cheney. The pictures you're looking at now were sent to me by her granddaughter. She was a cancer survivor and she deeply loved her six grandchildren and one grandchild. Their family, along with the family of Kat Massey, are grieving tonight. I'm Olivia Eugenio. Back to you.